most of the time uh, people want to trade with Gazamada first because he only, he only has two of his resources uh, they're pretty important for uh, we love the king days and we love the king days actually Gazamada when he's in the game he nerfs other civilizations in a way that goes as follows because he has the only two copies of these specific uh, resources uh, your cities are going to ask for resources, right? Well, no one is asking right now, but then if you discover some some amount of resources, one of your cities asks for one of these luxury resources. And it's called it's called the uh, We Love the King Day. So when having Gazamada in the game, because he has two pepper and then he has two cloves and two nutmeg. It dilutes the pool of resources that you can actually ask from as a we love the we love the king uh, day on your cities. So he indirectly nerfs we love the king days. Now this looks like a good spot to plant the city. One, two, three. This looks like, like a good one too. Okay, let's move there and we'll see after that. Um, well, I can try for a farm here. No, let's try for the ha let's try for the happiness. This one can be a scouting one. Yeah, sure, why not? This is a good one. Seems like a pretty good game. Oh yeah, I did six uh, settlers. I forgot I wanted to do five. Now we're doing six. Yeah, he should go there. He came closer. So this guy... Yeah, probably... Oh, fuck. Let's hope we move faster than him. Um, let's get him on the ship. I mean, at some point I would uh, do it. At some point I would do this, I would do that sip. I would do that sip so fucking hard, man. Some fucking, fucking do that sip. Would do it so hard, man. Fucking do that sip, yeah, man. Now, yeah, this is food. I can work this one. Seven turns instead of ten turns. I should be working this one. This one too. Okay, how about you change to another work boat? Or should he? 5 production, 7 production. This one seems better. Fucking. Okay, the ruin is still there. That's good. I like that. Now, can I do, and should I do the city here? If I do it here, I get this cattle. Doesn't seem like a really strong cattle, to be honest. So they can't plunder anything. I can scout with this guy freely. Oh, there is something to scout. Okay, let's try for an island city. I like island cities. Also, next turn we get a policy. I'm always doing this wrong now. Fuck, they got the lighthouse. Um, let's make a normal lighthouse, probably. Then, Okay, okay. Get the policy first. And then plant the city. Should I plant the city? I mean, he tells me to go there. Does he know something? I do not. There's iron there. No, I don't think he does. He's just fucked up in the mind. Right? Okay, let's scout a bit more then. Okay, we can scout this later. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything strong here. Here though, 
Seems like a fucking good spot for a city. Right here. Oh yeah, baby. If I go there, I'm getting this one. I'm getting two production, I'm not working this though. Kill that guy. Shoot that guy. He needs a monument. And he would need a monument too. Because we're playing many city tradition instead of four city tradition. Alright. Very nice. So we gained um, two gold and one production from upgrading this tile because this changed to this one. Yeah, I like this. Well, too much gold. We're getting too much gold. We should be getting happiness normally. This dilutes the strategy. That's why you shouldn't try strategies against AIs. Because, uh, fuck. 60 faith. Wow. Well, I'm going to buy this one. And then we'll vote it. Three turns of production lost from this fucking thing. Okay. Now, I think this is... Well, kind of enough of the strategy. To show you how the game works. Now, we're not getting the monument, the walls and the aqueduct on these two cities. But it doesn't matter, we're tradition. We're getting the extra 15% growth in all our cities on our finisher, which is pretty great. We're getting product, uh, we're getting happiness when the cities are strong. And yeah, we can fit the capital. It's, it's pretty normal tradition now. Uh, I should go for the lighthouse. Even though there is a voice saying library, I think these two are going to get the library way, way later than the other ones also I should kind of get my troops back I need uh, workers I didn't steal any workers which is pretty weak for our current uh, for, for our current game now this one I should work at some point I'll work this one now can change to this one still three turns Still returns. Cannot make this any faster. Can start for one turn. Sure. Oh fuck! Now I can't work the fucking thing. What is this bullcrap? I need to clear barbarian camps. Okay, what are you doing there? Okay, okay. Okay. Don't fucking tell me, he's gonna get my work boat. No, he did not. That's okay. Um, how about we buy a work boat for this guy then? Oh, fuck, right. We should be buying workers and not work boats. I'm always forgetting about that. Build work build work boats by workers. Now let's build a granary there. Yeah, and now this is this is a pretty standard tradition game. We are rushing the Oracle. So happens that we can shoot for the Oracle now. A little bit of gold. We need our happiness there. Now I should be growing my capital. Any any person will tell you that, but we don't have good food tiles to grow our capital. What is this? 
Oh wow, very nice, very strong point of city. And then we're going to Theology. Now, this was a pretty fucking great game in the beginning, and then it transformed into this barbarian nightmare, because I moved my warrior too far away, one of my scouts died, due to my fault of course, and yeah, still, still seems like a pretty strong game. I wouldn't say it's one of my best anymore, because I fucked it up really good. Um, but, but it's one of the strong ones. No, let's do a workboat. Yeah, you're spamming, at this point you're spamming workboats and hope uh, that uh, enough of them stick. So we get a, the crazy advantage that workboats give. Yeah, sure, get the fucking thing again. Also, at this point you're probably in a golden age, normally. Now, I want to go there, right? Yeah. Um, this guy should drive for some happy stuff here. This guy should scout. No, I needed him back there. Fuck. I need him to kill this guy. Hmm. Ten turns. Can't he, like, embark? <laughs> Shit. He's not yet gotten in one of my, yeah, in my borders, so he cannot embark. This scout can embark though. Uh, what? Is this a large number of units? I guess, I guess it is. Fuck my life. This is bullshit. I'm telling you, this is fucking bullshit. Man. And of course it's on the fucking turn we're growing. Why would it be at any other turn? Yeah, we need to kill this one by priority. I forgot about that. Kill this guy. Um, should I make a rogue? From these two. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Do we have any mountains? I didn't plant any mountain cities, so we can't get much pizza. Let's chop this forest now. Stay there for a bit. If you stay there, if you stay there, you can get that work done next turn. Yeah, this seems like a good uh, production. Uh, Q, stay there. Okay, this is it. I mean, there's not much else to it. Now you play the game normally. Hope you do a good work. You go to theology. Build the Angkor Wat, probably before you build the National College. And you build the Angkor Wat in place of the National College, so you can be competitive with other tradition uh, uh, science guys. Now, the Angkor Wat gives a university, which is way worse than the National College. But, when you get the university, at this point, six science is a fucking lot. I have 22, but normally you would have something like 36 here or 40. Six science is, is a lot. And six science, where do I get this number? It's from the two scientists that are working the um, university. And then actually plus the 25% of the university, it's not six, it's 7.5. But yeah, you get my... You get what I'm talking about. Now we clear this one. We Try to do something about our workers, because we have a fucking... We have very few workers. We have very, very early six cities though, which is pretty strong. And this one is not strong. Well, it's kind of... I mean, if it stays at five pop, or six pop maybe, with a specialist, nine to ten pop if we get a university and a workshop in there. Yeah, it's actually pretty okay, pretty okay city. And... 
I could say good. This one is good too. It has three very good tiles. Uh, another really good tile. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I mean, they're not close to each other. So they're not very good at defending against uh, Morocco here. If it would be a player. But uh, yeah, you could. Morocco needs the trade routes to other saves probably. Or to city states. So he might be afraid of plundering trade routes and stuff like that. So he might try to play it uh, peacefully. In this specific circumstance. Yeah, I'm gonna... I didn't get a religion fast enough. I wanted to get one. Anyway, see you next time, guys, in Civilization. The first